divine peace and blessings. Okay, beloved, now, listen. Don't front. It's one thing to say that we are ready for something, that we've been praying for something, that we are open to something, and not be able to see the forest for the trees. Sometimes those right up on a situation cannot necessarily see things in their totality, in their wholeness, if you will. And those frenemies will say what we want to hear, particularly after months, years, decades of training. They know where your weak spots are. They know where your insecurities are. And they inevitably, inevitably become enablers to your not addressing the real issue, which is you. Which is you. The common denominator is you. And there is no block, no stronghold, no evil, no spell that can not be overcome, that cannot be undone justly. But we have to come in contact with the truth at the crossroads at some point in the process. That's why we go to Babalawos. Sometimes spirit will speak directly through someone who you assume doesn't know anything about you at all. But it's close enough to see things, to see you, and to see circumstances for what they truly and really are. There's also the gift of experience. There are those out there among us who share the experience, share the pain, share the joy, share the discomforts, share the complications. So we don't have to be you. We don't have to be next to you. We don't have to be close to you to identify and to empathize with pain. As an empath, as a spiritualist and an empath, and a practitioner of the spiritual arts, I'm just a little bit more fine-tuned than some people are to the pain. Particularly when it's in someone that I favor. So to sit back and deny, sit back and not say anything, sit back and not take an active role, sit back and not offer a hand would be an abomination to you and to the truth and to the most high. So yes, friends tell you the truth. Even when they're your associate, even when they're your Facebook companion, even to take the risk of losing that communication forever does not outweigh the importance of healing, sharing the gift, and helping people to overcome their stuff. And being stuck is not very complicated to diagnose. Being in a whole pattern is not very complicated to diagnose. I just happen to have the resolution. When you're ready to accept resolution, all is a blessing, Ashe.